Hello everyone. In one of my video, I had explained how we can get user current location continuously in the background, even while user is not using the application. The link of this video is given in the description. In that video, I had assumed that the device location is enabled. But in real world, it is not necessary that the device GPS is always enabled. So in this tutorial, we are going to check the device GPS. If it is enabled, then you can get the user current location or whatever you want. And if it is not enabled, then we show a pop up to the user to enable it. So coming toward the code, this is a very simple project having only one activity. Here I am doing some basic initialization. This I have already explained in the previous video. Here I am registering two listeners on the task. This listener is invoked if the device GPS is already enabled and here you can get the device location or whatever you want. And if the device GPS is not enabled, then this listener is invoked. And here you can see we are calling start resolution for result method and passing a request code of 100. This will show a pop up to the user to enable the device location and also it will invoke on activity result method. So we will handle this request in the on activity result method. Here you can see that we are checking for the request code. If it is 100, this means that this request is coming from here. And then we are checking if the request is successful, that is the user clicked OK button of the pop-up and the GPS became enabled. So now here you can get the user current location. And if the user click cancel button, then this means that the user declined the request and you are not able to get the device location. So let me to show you a demo to get the things more clear. This is the application that I have installed. Now let's open it. But let me first check the device location. You can see that it is disabled. So now I am opening the application. It is showing me a dialog to enable the device location. Now if I click OK button, it will automatically enable the device location. And if I click no thanks button, the request will be declined and I will not be able to get the device location. So let's click OK button. So here you can see that the location became enabled. And now I am able to get the device location. Now let's check the other case. I am closing the application and open it again. But this time the device location is enabled. So let's open the application again. So here you can see that this time add on success listener was called, which is showing that the location settings are satisfied and I am able to get the device location. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.